Hello everyone, this is Leo from Generates Press and Generates Blocks. In the last video, we created a top bar that includes a simple message and a button like this. And in this video, we will create a similar top bar with social icons and a clickable call button like this using the block element again. Let's get started. We will add a new block element. Give it a name. And element type will be hook. Hook name, we will use the before header hook. We will start by adding a container block. Let's use full width for both inner and outer container for this one. Then give it some colors. Next, let's remove some padding so the top bar doesn't take this much room. And inside this container, we will add a grid block. And we will go with a 50-50 grid. Inside the left container, we will add a buttons block. Let's start with the icon. And we will remove text. Next, let's go to spacing and reduce the button size. Add some border and make it rounded by using 50% border radius all around. Let's modify the colors. When you're happy with the design, simply click the add button plus sign to add more buttons. Let's separate the buttons by giving the second button some margin left. Then we're ready to duplicate more buttons. Next, we will just simply switch out the icons. Moving on to the right container, we will also add a buttons block here. Select the Buttons wrapper and set the alignment to right. To make a button clickable to call, we will use TEL and a column followed by your phone number. We can change the text and again, add in an icon. Head back up to spacing to style the button. And add some border. Let's match the colors with the social icon. Let's 
looks like we are all done with the desktop view. So let's choose our display rule and publish. Head back to our page to take a look. And let's see how it looks on mobile right now. Obviously we can do some work to make it better here. Let's make some small tweaks for the desktop first. First we select the grid and set the vertical alignment to center. Then there's this empty paragraph below, which Gutenberg adds sometimes. Let's remove it. Now let's go ahead and tweak the mobile view. So one option here is to have both of them center, but in this case, looks like I have enough room to put both of them on the same line. We can do so by select the first container and set it to 50% instead of 100. Select the second container and do the same thing. So now, as you can see, there isn't enough room in the first container to hold all the icons in one line. We can fix this by selecting the first container and make it bigger, like 66%, and make the second one smaller, like 33%. Let's remove the annoying paragraph again and make sure that doesn't happen on desktop. Click update and take a look. You can see all the items are now in one line. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.